I, I first got interested in the problem of mass incarceration in the United States as it became apparent that it was so massive. Uh, in the United States from about 1920 to about 1970, in other words, most of the last century, the United States actually had a very stable uh, rate of imprisonment, so much so that people started to say, maybe that's what we should be explaining. And then in the 1980s, it really started to explode and quadrupled uh, across the following four decades. And so I got interested in trying to understand both why was that happening and what were the consequences. We use data from the National Longitudinal Study of Adolescent Health, and that's all collected confidentially and anonymously. But at the same time we were doing this research, and as uh, mass incarceration was starting to really explode in America, we were also doing some other work, uh, particularly focusing on a young man, uh, a student, a high school student on the south side of Chicago. He was caught in a neighborhood where lots of young people and older people were going to jail. And it really had an impact uh, on that neighborhood, a really destructive impact in terms of withdrawing a lot of the male role models and so on out of the neighborhood. And at one point he actually acquired a, a, a weapon, a gun, uh, that he began carrying back and forth to school because he was worried about crossing gang boundary lines. And uh, he wound up actually uh, pulling this gun out in the stairwell at school when he felt threatened by a group of other uh, young students and uh, shot into this group and actually wounded three of them and killed one. In the course of uh, the period over which he went on trial, he had a, a child himself. Uh, so all of these events began to sort of tumble along and f unfold over this young man's life, and we got very interested in how that happens and what the consequences are, both for those who get incarcerated and for their children. And in particular, our research is focused on the effects of parental incarceration on children.